Hello, I'm so glad you're with me today. Let's get started by everybody getting on your feet and let's sing. priceless treasure God knows me God hears me God is my comfort I am his and there's nothing better forgiven and chosen forever I am a treasure
thanks for singing with me. I like to go to parties, and I bet you do too. When we go to parties, there are lots of things to do. We get to be with our friends, eat, play games, listen to music. Today's Bible story tells us about a king who had a party. His name was King Belshazzar. Let's watch and see what happens at this party. Many years passed, and Daniel, now an older man, was still in service to the kingdom of Babylon when a new king, Belshazzar, came into power. King Belshazzar decided to host a great banquet for thousands of his leaders. During the feast, King Belshazzar had his servants bring out the gold and silver goblets that his father, King Nebuchadnezzar, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem. As the king and his nobles drank from these sacred goblets, they praised false gods. Suddenly, a human hand appeared, and one finger began to write on the wall right in front of everyone at the feast. As King Belshazzar watched, he began to shake in fear. The king called for his wise men and said, whoever reads this writing and tells me what it means, I will give them riches and power. But the wise men could not read the writing or tell the king what it meant. This made the king even more terrified. Hearing the commotion, the queen came into the banquet hall and said, Don't be alarmed. There is a man who can help you. He was trusted by King Nebuchadnezzar because of his great insight and wisdom. So much so that Nebuchadnezzar put him in charge of all of Babylon's wise men. His name is Daniel, and if you bring him here, he will be able to tell you what this writing means. When Daniel appeared before King Belshazzar, the king told him, None of my wise men can read the writing on the wall and tell me what it means. But if you can, I will give you riches and honor beyond your wildest dreams. Daniel answered the king, You can keep your gifts and give them to someone else, but I will still read the writing for you and tell you what it means. Daniel told King Belshazzar, God gave your predecessor, King Nebuchadnezzar, absolute power, glory, and splendor. Because of this, all the nations of the earth feared him. He did as he pleased to help or hurt anyone he chose. But Nebuchadnezzar became proud and arrogant, so God stripped him of his throne and his power. Only after this did King Nebuchadnezzar acknowledge that God alone is king over all the earth. But you, King Belshazzar, Daniel continued, have not humbled yourself, even though you knew all of this. Instead, you have become proud and honored yourself above God. When you brought out the goblets from God's temple, you drank from them and praised false gods who cannot see or hear or understand. In all of this, you did not honor God or his hand in your life. Because of this, God sent the hand and wrote the inscription. My king, Daniel said, this the inscription says, Mene, mene, tekel, parson. Mene means numbered. God has numbered your days and brought them to an end. Tekel means weighed. You have been weighed on the scales and you have been found wanting. Parson means divided. Your kingdom is divided and will be given to the Medes and Persians. Just as the king had promised, Daniel was dressed in wealth. That very night, King Belshazzar was killed, and his kingdom was given over to another ruler. Daniel's friends were thrown into the fire, but weren't burnt. 
God took care of these men who loved him. God gives us people to take care of us, like parents and family. Let's pray and thank God for the care he gives us and the care our family gives us. Let me pray for us. God, thank you so much for caring for us, for taking care of us, and for helping us through tough situations. I pray that you would help us to always trust you and be obedient to you. And everybody said, amen. Well, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.